Today, I would like to tell you the story about Hannah. Why it's so interesting? Because it's so relatable in our daily lives. Have you wished something in your life and you really, really want it? You really, really want to make it happen. You just don't know how. Well, here's the secret and we can find it in the story of Hannah. So Hannah was a wife of Elkanah. Elkanah has two wives and it's Hannah and Penina. So what's the difference between these two women? Penina had children while Hannah is childless. By the way, Elkanah was from the tribe of Ephraim and they are they were living in Ramah. Okay? And every year they go to Shiloh. Shiloh is the uh, house of the Lord. Let's go back to our story. So Penina always torments and humiliates Hannah. You know, there's a rivalry between the two because they are a wives of a man and you know you know you know <laughs> uh, yes there were a rivalry between the two of them and and you can see um, that Hannah is being oppressed by Penina and one time after their meal at the Shiloh Hannah was super upset and she got up from the from the meal and she cried bitterly and she uh, prayed to God silently she said to God God if you give me a son I will dedicate my son to you and she prayed she prayed it over and over again for the longest time and guess what Eli the priest who was sitting at the door saw her and he saw he thought that uh hannah was a drunk person because uh hannah was praying but he doesn't know that hannah was praying hannah was moving her lips but it doesn't make any sounds so she said to hannah stop what you're doing stop this drunken show stop drinking and be sober so hannah said no sir i'm not drunk i was just miserable desperate i'm miserable because i'm childless and eli said to her go in peace and may the lord May the, may the Lord God of Israel answer your prayer. And Hannah said to Eli, may you always think kindly of me, sir. And then after that, after her prayer, uh, she went away and she ate some food and she's no longer sad. So the next day, here is the good thing. The next day, after they worshipped the Lord, they went back home. And the Lord answered Hannah's prayer. Hannah got pregnant. And it was a son. And the name of the son was Samuel. Who would think that, that she would bore a son who would become a prophet? A prophet, Samuel. Prophet Samuel was a, played a major role in the anointment, anointment of King Saul and King David. So it was really, really a good story. So after um, after she she nursed her baby, she bring the baby to Chilo, uh, to Eli, and and uh, Samuel stayed there for the rest of his life. So what lesson we can learn from this is that 
Nothing is impossible with God. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. So, you know, when you pray, you should be fear. Put all your trust to God. And you can be sure that you will be an answer prayer. Because God is very compassionate. He's very loving. And He loves you and me. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. You Please share the, the video. If you enjoy the video, please share it. And don't forget to subscribe.